Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my nail polish declutter. Yesterday we decluttered uh, nine polishes and I kept 25. So now we're going on to part two. So let me start with some purples. We're going to start light and kind of go dark. Um, this is the newest nail polish I have purchased. And this is the Kylie Jenner uh, Matte Nail Polish from Sinful Color. And I know I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to swatch it for you. I did like it. I used it. Let's see where can we swatch it. You can see. Let me see. I might move the camera up a bit. So we can move this paper around. Yeah, I don't know how much swatching we're going to do. Here we go. We'll put it here. It's a beautiful shade. It's very, it's almost like, it's a ghostly color shade is what I think of. A light, light lavender gray, maybe. It's very pretty. Uh, the color is Magic Touch. And it is my only matte nail polish. The only thing is I don't have a matte top coat, which I need. Uh, I didn't put a top coat on it, so it didn't last. And that's because it didn't have a top coat. So I need to get a matte top coat. But, yeah, keeping that one. Next, this shade I've had a while. This is Orly. Does it have a name? Uh, don't see a name. Name's probably worn off. I do have two cats in the room helping me, so you never know when you might hear them. Oh, this is a very pretty shade. It's got a little more color than the, um, the Kylie Jenner, but yeah, I'm keeping that. Next, this is a Sally Hansen Nail Prisms in Purple Diamond. So let's try this. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, it's got that little, um, like, pearlized, frosty look. We're keeping that. Next, with purples, this is an L.A. color I got from Miss A. The color is Tropical Breeze. I'm sure I bought it for the name. Tropical Breeze. That's a, like a grape, grape color. There we go. We'll keep that one. I don't think I have anything like it. Next, let's go with this one. This one is fairly new. This is an OPI. The color is Significant Other. It is a clear, not clear, uh, sheer, um, pearlized opalish color. It's very pretty. Very pretty. But it's got that opal sheen to it. I like that. I think it's very pretty. We'll keep that. Next, let's go with this purple. This one is Grape Burst. To me, it's kind of um, a purple fuchsia. There's more purple in it. Yeah, I don't have anything else like that. Keeping that one. So far, I'm not getting rid of anything. Another Shop Miss A, a clean color. This one is Lavender Kiss. Let's give this one a shot. I apologize for the lighting. There we go. Lavender Kiss. Next, an OPI, and this one's old, 750. Japanese Rose Garden. Let's check this one. This looks pretty. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. It's a nice cream, creamy shade. Yep, keeping that one. Next, let's see what we can do next. This is an Estee Lauder. Looks like it came in maybe a Blockbuster. Um, perfect finish nail lacquer. I bet this was from the days I worked for Estee Lauder. Maybe not. This could have been from a free gift at some point. Perfect finish. Yeah. I see there's a glare. Let's see if I can move this paper. Down there we go. Knock that glare off so you can see some of those shades a little better. Another Estee Lauder. This is really fuchsia. I should have had it with my other my other fuchsia colors. But we'll add it here. 
that's very pretty. I'm going to keep that. This is a Zoya. It's actually a deep kind of fuchsia color also. Purplish fuchsia. There's no name on it either. It's probably worn off. Let me put it right here. How similar. How similar are these two? I need to move these so you can see. Because of that glare. There. That works. Gosh, there's so... The Zoya is a little more purple than the Estee Lauder. The Estee Lauder is a little more of the pink fuchsia. The question is, do I need them both? We, we could turn where you can see. They do look so different in the uh, bottle, don't they? Um, and that's just a piece of paper. I think I'll, I'll keep them. And the last one I of these, this is not the last one. I don't know why I said that. The next one is this purple. I'm going to paint it right here. I got this in a kit recent, recently, and I love it. It's from Nails, Inc. It's called Devonshire. Devonshire what? It is written so small, it's so hard for me to read. I can't. The first word is Devonshire. But it's this pretty purple. Can you see that? And I think that's beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. It is more mauve -y definitely than that one. So, yeah. Keeping it like it. Next. Oh, this is an old one. Boris and Natasha. I must have bought Boris and Natasha at the same time I got the red one from Red Square. Ooh, squeaky. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful deep shade. Oh, man. Look at that. And look how they go on. They're so old. But they go on so great. I'm going to lift that while it's... So you can see. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, we're keeping that one. I haven't gotten rid of anything yet. Now, this is a purple. Uh, this says Finger Paints is the brand. I can barely read it. The color is... It's an original. And I bet I bought it out of a bin where there were Halloween makeup. Where there was Halloween makeup. I don't have anything else by this brand. Wow. It doesn't look as bad. It looks like a really nice deep purple. Look at it. Let me move this down. That one's much lighter, but that those are pretty cool together. Yeah, look at that. That is deep. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. I don't think I've ever worn this. But that's okay. It's a pretty shade. I'm going to hang on to it. Ah, okay. Now let's do some blues and some greens. What do you say? Let's go on out this way. Maybe we can get away from the, gl the glare. Let's see. Let's go with some blues. This is another... I need to shake this one up. Here we go. Sally Hansen Instant Dry. And does this one have a name on it? The last one I did did not. Here we go. Imprompt Blue. Imprompt Blue. I hate these wands. I said it in the last one. Do you see these? Whoops. It's going to drip. We don't want any drips. That flat wand. I hate, I hate these brushes. Not my favorites. That is, oh, you can't see. That is blue, blue, blue. That's a true blue. Yeah. I'm going to hang on to that. I don't have anything like it. This next one I love. I got this from uh, Shop Miss A. It's uh, called a Leap of Grape, but it is not grape. It's this beautiful um, dusty blue that I just, I think is gorgeous. I think it's just the most gorgeous shade. Look at that. Like a denim blue, really. So, yeah, keeping that. Next, uh, a Revlon. I like Revlon nail polishes. This one is Fashionista. Let's go the other way, maybe. Let's go down here. 
That's pretty. It's a, well, it's glaring too. I guess just because they're wet. It's a, a dark blue-green. A very dark blue-green. It's a beautiful shade. Keeping that. Oh, not doing well, not doing well. This is another Sally Hansen. An Emerald Express. Now this one has, it's not glitters, it's pearl. Pearlized. Yeah, that's beautiful. A little bit of fallout. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Oh, I'm not, going, not doing good. Here is a blue green. I believe I when I saw this polish, it's an Ulta. I thought of mermaids. It's called Love Fern, and it's glitter. And if you know me, I like to sparkle and glitter and shine. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty. So yeah, you're a keeper. I'm not doing so good. I've gotten rid of anything today. Uh, where should we go next? Let's go green. This is um, a clean color. The color is Jasmine Tea. It doesn't look like the swatch I saw online. And I really wanted the color I saw online. And this is not it. This is a lime green. I don't own any lime green. I don't know that if I would wear it on my nails, but I might my toes. I think I'll hang on to that. This I got on sale at CVS. If you'll see, I got I paid a dollar sixty nine. This is a top coat. This is a fuzzy top coat. Um, let me do this on camera so you can see. Can you see those like fibers? I don't think it's going to come across too good on the paper. But they're like fuzzy. Ooh, it has a smell to it. Do you see that? That might look good with that on my toes. Yeah, I'll hang on to that. Oh, this I got recently in one of my boxes, bags, and I love it. So yeah, this is not going anywhere. This is Geometric. Um, and I, what is that? My brush is messed up. I didn't notice that. Looks all weird. Geometric, but it's a beautiful shade. So I'm keeping it. My brush is a little wonky there, though. Next, let's see. I've got some colors that are similar that we need to go through. First one is not so similar. Let's see. Let's line them up down here. Line them up down here. This is like my favorite Essie polish. And it's uh, Bikini Sotini. And this one, it's weird. Every time I wear it, people ask me, oh, what nail polish do you have on? I'm going to put it right here. Bikini, not... See, Bikini Sotini. Yeah, this is, this is going nowhere. Now, I have... Well, there are different shades. I know I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, this is Essie uh, Mint Candy Apple. And it, to me, I don't see the mint. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I can see where it's a mint compared to that one. It's it's a mint shade. But yeah, it's going nowhere. And then I got this one, Classical Cliché. But this one's pearlized. Where the um, mint candy apple is a uh, cream color. This is pearlized. Much different. Here, I'm going to tip the paper up. That is definitely shining. Tip the paper up so you can see. Yeah. Yep. Keeping that. Now, this is an old nail polish. Uh, the name is off of it. It's another one of those Victoria's Secrets. Uh, it's a sheer... It's a sheer pearl. Let's see if I can get the top off. It's like stuck on. Yeah. And I want to put it here next to this Essie one I got. And 
there's just a very slight difference in the two. Very slight difference. Uh, I'm going to keep the SE and I am going to declutter this Victoria's Secret old nail polish. There's one down. Uh, and then I got this LA color uh, in Meadow. And I'm not sure how I feel about this shade. It's um, it's a it's like a heathered green shade. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear it. A gray green maybe. It's like a gray green color. I don't know. Would I wear that? Let me think about it. This next one is a sinful color in Wonder Mint. This is what it looks like. Let me get it in over here with all these others. Oh, it's very different. It's different than the others. You can see that. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. And then I have, this is a Revlon in Blue Lagoon. The Revlon name is, whatever was there is missing, so let's see. It's a pearlized, pearlized shade. It's so similar to that one. What was that one? That one was an Essie. That was not a pearlized. That was mint candy apple. Yeah, this is mint candy apple. And this is the same version with a shimmer to it. Man. I kind of like that shimmer. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside and we'll come back to those. Next, here are my move this down. Here are my like dark. This is a um, Lancome. This color is Neptune. My hand's starting to shake a little. I'm sorry. I've mentioned it before in videos. I've I had a bad accident and I have a little nerve damage. And every now and then my hand likes to shake. So there we go. That's a pretty gunmetal. Pretty gunmetal shade. I think I'll keep it. Ugh, I don't know. This is a clean color and metallic black. And I did not have a black nail polish. I have some really dark plums, but not a black. And that's a black with a little bit of, of a sheen to it. It's got a, a shine to it a little bit. So I'm going to definitely keep that. I'll keep that Lancome. Okay, next. We are getting there. These are glitters, and I'm keeping them. This one is a Sally Hansen, and I got it on sale at CVS for $2.07. It was a 75% off, and it's blush all blush over hue. If you can see that. And it's pink glitters, pink glitters. So, yeah. Now I've got another pink glitter. That's chunky glitter. This is finer glitter. This is more of a rose gold to me. This is Tinkerbell by Ulta. Not Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. And these are smaller. More, more of a rosy gold glitter. So yeah. Keeping that as well. Next is my silver. I'm shocked I don't have more, but I tell myself I have a beautiful Zoya silver. Uh, I don't have the name on it. It's gone, but oh, this is, I've loved this polish for a long time. Look at that silver. It's my favorite silver polish. I mean, it's just pure, pure silver shine. Look at that. It's by Zoya. I think this is one of my favorite nail polishes. All right. I have a, whoops, I have a couple, couple of top coats I'm going to show you that, um, I guess I can go ahead and swash them. I'm not getting rid of them. This is, um, this is 
Smartsville by OPI, it's a shatter. It'll do that. It's a shatter polish. I paid 850 for it. It's a top coat, not a polish. So it's similar to that shiny one, not as shiny, but this will, as it dries, it will crackle over your nail polish. So I'm keeping that. And then this one is, um, yeah, I remember this. This one is Liquid Sand, OPI. This is what wizardry is this? And I bought this at Disney World. It's part of the Land of Oz collection that um, had James Franco in it, the movie. And I bought this polish then. This is actually a polish. This is not a top coat. So this one's liquid sand. But yeah, keeping that. Next, we're getting into my kind of... where we're going to have to make some decisions here, I think. Okay, this color is amazing. It, I have loved this color. It's by Revlon, and it's called Khaki Zing. Khaki Zing. And what I love about this color, and it may not transfer onto paper, it changes colors. So you look at it one way, it's a khaki color. It's got green in it. And when you move your nails, you can see the changing in the... I don't think it's going to come across on the paper. But yeah, I love this. I'm not getting rid of that. Next, this is... This is a Victoria's Secret. This It's in this shape, so it's a newer one, I believe. I don't know. I haven't been really... I haven't truly been in Victoria's Secrets in quite a while. Um, this... That's a pretty shade. It's um, love light. But my dilemma comes when you see I have all these shades. So this one looks different. This one is Revlon's gold coin. I believe this one is a true gold. I don't think this one I need to. Yeah. It's my gold. Keeping that. This is Orly. And this one is Rage. And I want to test it next to this. Ooh. That's pretty. I like Rage better than I do this Victoria's Secret. So bye-bye, Victoria's Secret. Hell, keep in Rage. And this little one is a Formula X and revved up, and I know I got it in a kit. It's a little polish. Let's see. It's a little darker. Yeah, it's a little darker. It's it's probably more similar to that one that I just got rid of, but it's a little darker than the Orly. I'm gonna keep them both, especially this one's small. So yeah, you keep those both. I have four left, people. Four polishes left. This is Sally.